Have you had access to the Instagram shopping feature before, was able to tag products and create your shop, but then one day it suddenly disappeared and you don't know why? In this video I will share how to find out what went wrong with your account and all the things that might need checking and fixing for your shop to function properly again. If you enjoy these types of videos, consider subscribing. So now let's go through the errors and fixes together. Number one, your shop was disabled because of a domain issue. The domain you verified was not the domain you use for your products in your catalog or you changed your website domain without following the right steps to do so. This causes the Facebook commerce account to disable your shop as the domain verification was not completed successfully. To fix this, I have created a full video on how to switch from one domain to another successfully without errors. Please watch it here. If that is not the case for you, here's what you need to do instead. Go to your Facebook commerce account, overview, and see what the main issue or error is. They might give you the error saying that the products you are selling are not using the domain you use for Instagram shopping and will require you to submit your website for review again. But before doing that, make sure to go to business settings, brand safety, domains, and ensure that your domain is verified. If you don't know how to verify your domain, I have listed a few videos that will help you down below or in the cards above. After that, make sure to go check the products in your catalog. Go to commerce, items, and check the link for each product. Make sure that each of those items is using the domain that you verified. The last thing you would need to do would be to apply again, so you can do so using the option in the Commerce Manager overview or go to Settings, Business Assets and you'll see the option of putting your website for review again. If you see multiple options of websites, just choose the one that you want to use for Instagram shopping. This should reinstate your access to the Instagram shopping feature. If this doesn't work for you for some reason, please contact me on Instagram at lydia.incomingsuccess or via email at lydia.incomingsuccess at gmail.com and I will be happy to help you or offer you my full Instagram shopping service that will help you solve all of these issues seamlessly. Reason number two, your shop was disabled because your products do not comply with the commerce policies of Facebook and Instagram or have been rejected in your catalog for some reason. In this case, you should see a message such as this one in your commerce manager. Your Instagram shop was not approved because it does not comply with the commerce policies. If you think this was a mistake, you can request a review. So this is how you will ask them to take another look at your account and re-approve it, but not before checking all the things that I will mention. In this video right here, I talk about what to do if your items get rejected and how to request another review for them. This is the main thing you need to fix, your product approval. After that, go ahead and check that everything else is right with your shop before requesting a review, so you won't risk getting disapproved for good or at least for a longer period of time. In this video right here, I share exactly all the things that you need to check to ensure that you are compliant and should be approved for an Instagram shop. And the third reason why your shop may have been stopped or disabled all of a sudden is the obvious change of regulations in the Facebook commerce policies that nobody at Facebook or Instagram even mentions, well, unless you have countless interactions with them anyway. These new requirements will prevent your shop from functioning and will show your shop as disabled even though it functioned properly before and you're not breaking any commerce policies. What you will see in your commerce manager in this case will be the message that your Instagram shop was not approved and there's no option to reappeal right now and when you go to shops it will just show as disabled. Even though all your products are approved, your website domain is verified and in good standing, what Facebook now wants is that you have an established presence on both platforms and demonstrate straight trustworthiness. This should not only happen through the number of followers you have but through your daily activity, posting consistently and engagement. This obviously needs to be real engagement, organic, so buying followers and like will only hurt your account. Do not do that. What I suggest you will do to fix these issues is grow your Facebook page to at least 200-300 likes and posts daily. For Instagram, I suggest at least 500 followers before applying. You can learn how to grow a Facebook page and an Instagram account organically by following these two videos. You can find the links below or in the cards above. After that, your shopping option will either magically reappear one day or you will need a little bit more effort and to reach out to Facebook support and ask them to review your account again. If this seems all too difficult for you, contact me and I will help you do this. So there you go, these are the three of the many reasons why your shop suddenly disappeared and how to fix it. Thank you so much for watching, you can follow all my socials here and don't hesitate to reach out with any questions there or in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in my next video.